<laughs> Does the CIA not like you? Well, there's a reason why I'm living in Costa Rica, honey. <gasps> Shall we begin? You were hanging out with David Letterman? And my house got washed away in the Hurricane Sandy. Let's begin now. Good morning, boobies. Good morning. Okay, so this is a vlog. This is a vlog. I'm having a fabulous friend come and pick me up. He's extremely fascinating, and I can't wait for you guys to meet him. But I'm having a wardrobe malfunction. So my problem right now is the fact that I have no self-esteem. If I wear a crop top, then my stomach will show. I feel like what they're putting out there right now, it doesn't help women. You have Kylie Jenner and Gigi Hadid, and their skin is like so smooth. But what we need to see are real women that have real stretch marks and real, you know, marks on their body but they feel beautiful this is what our nation is why not show them that instead of showing them something that they might never ever be able to reach which is perfection this self-esteem is like killing us so I'm going to do something I'm going to make it okay here on YouTube to be able to feel the way you can feel and dress how you want to friggin dress I'm gonna show my stomach for the first time to anybody and I'm doing it on here because girls and boys need to know it's okay to feel good about themselves so here it is <sighs> Okay, so this is my stomach. This is my scar right here. God, I'm so nervous. Anyway, I have a lot of scars and I have a lot of stretch marks and that's it, okay? If you wanna wear a crop top, wear a freaking crop top. Be you, be all of you unapologetically. Rejected about your looks is the worst thing that anybody could ever feel. We are all in this together. I'm literally shaking because I just showed you guys my stomach. So we're gonna continue this vlog and you are going to meet one of the men in my life that has made me feel okay to be me. So he's gonna show up any second and I can't wait. Oh my god. Oh my god <laughs> We're back together again. Okay, go straight You're go straight which both of us are not honestly I had like anxious diarrhea before I met you today You and I are equal level of how we are well, I'm, hilarious. <laughs> I'm here with Jake Sassaville. He's my friggin friend and we've known each other for a million years That's true. We were in a commercial once together. Yes, we were I thought the ad said a plus size model and that's why I, <laughs> that's why I really do. I think we both are. You know, I was getting ready this morning <laughs> and I showed the camera yeah. my stomach. Oh. If I have stretch marks, I can still wear a crop top. That's true. Like, People are fatter in America, to be honest. Oh, we're like almost here. Pamela! Mommy! Pamela. It's just me and... Jake Sasseville. Wait, is her car not in the garage? This is what we're gonna be like when we're old. Mommy's here! She drives like a crazy bad She does. Accident, especially when she's excited. God, I love the Greeks. Head up to the metal. <laughs> yeah, I don't waste any time. I don't have Look a lot of time left. Is. Take a <laughs> moment. You nice guys to want you. to get a room? How good are Do you need a room? Look at that. Ten years reunited and it yeah. never felt reunited so good. Reunited and it feels so good. Fun, so yeah, we just had a really great family conversation. So nice. God, we've known each other for 20 years. Oh my gosh. We're old. I, I remember when you first told me that you were gay. So um, in the closet, I couldn't even find myself. We, we live in a very conservative state, yeah. which is Maine. I'm so happy when I see these 18 year old gays running around. It costs you zero dollars to have an open mind. Oh yes. Yeah. It costs you zero dollars to have an open mind. My house washed away in Hurricane Sandy. In New York. <gasps> Wait, rewind back up. Oh my God. I was living at a beach house in New York City. I was on stage at the David Letterman lecture series in Indiana with David Letterman. You were hanging out with David Letterman? And my house got washed away in the Hurricane Sandy. And then I lost my ABC contract and I ran out of money and lived in a basement. Basement, and garage, what's up? what's up? So grandma didn't have any internet, so do you know where I went to record my shows? Where? The Dunkin' Donuts oh, Club. Did, so a lot of London people listen to your podcast? A lot podcast? of Europeans, yes. But it's a quarter, wonderful. A quarter of a million people a month. Put a little shrimp on the puppy. It's a tea plate. Thank you very, very much. That sounds like a... Anyway, so then I'm in Hawaii and I had this house. Yeah. It was a big, beautiful house and I would see Oprah. It was my next door. Okay, I remember Jake used to send me messages and photos and say, you know, good morning, Lizzie. By the way, here's Oprah. And just send me a picture of her at a beautiful, like, vegetable stand. So did you ever, like, see her and talk to her? Not a full conversation. Okay, she just was like, always hi, on hello. A, she was on Part of failing a lot in life, which I have done a tremendous amount of times, you get very curious about how life actually works. How do I actually recover from failure? I dove a lot into the spiritual aspects of life, not like a, in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, what they weren't telling us. Right. I've gotten access to some crazy material, some technologies of meditations that the CIA uses to see things. 
It's called remote viewing. It sounds really cuckoo. Now, yeah. now people are like, what? Telepathically see things in other parts of the world or the universe. Through your brain. We're all part of this cosmic soup. We right. don't realize we are the soup. We are the bowl of soup. We think we're just a vegetable. What about, what did you say about the CIA using the remote access? That's why I live in Costa Rica. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This is a vanilla chai because I want it to be Halloween right now. I don't know why people like watching people eat. I kind of do. <laughs> you know what one of my favorite things was that you did? Oh. You called Dwight Schrute. You guys remember Dwight Schrute from The Office? His name is Rain Wilson. Jake called him on the radio. Jake was a guest on the radio here in Maine. And Dwight yelled at him. Because I woke him up. The radio DJs got really nervous. In fairness, I set it up. I set it because I basically looked at the seven words that you could say without getting thrown off the radio. They're bad words. What were the seven words? He said them all on the radio. Oh my gosh. With Jake, I've learned. Just go for it. Just go for it in your life. Whatever you want to do, just go for it. So we're back in the car right now we had our drunken dog nuts are you panting yeah a little bit i heard a pant <laughs> a little bit <laughs> never, never made a girl pant coming before. out i'm like a little dog <laughs> hanging yeah. on by a thread right still <laughs> panting why do i always feel like you're always hanging on by a thread that's like just me hi my name is lizzie and this is my youtube channel so jake is dropping me off now we had an incredible what an amazing reunion. In can you do one thing for me though can you sing me a little something oh jesus because i think you can do it on youtube if you keep it less than 15. yeah right? yeah yeah uh <laughs> I'm not really good at singing right now, but because it's Jake, I will I sing a little bit of Adele. <clears throat> There's a fire starting in my heart, reaching a fever pitch, and it's bringing me out the dark. Finally, I can see Four, you crystal clear. Three. Go ahead and sell me out, and I'll lay your ship there. <laughs> <laughs> We had a good reunion, and and, and, and and I love you, and... Oh, I'm so sad that he's leaving. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You have to say my goodbye with me. Subscribe, like, comment, and dislike if that's what your heart desires. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next go-around of this beautiful, beautiful life. life. Bye, buddy. Bye, guys. Huh.